Hello and welcome to a very quick new video with this beautiful Ultra Red Model 3 Highland which I just got for a quick test drive and I've got not much time to review it but I thought I got some minutes and I drove around for like 10 minutes already so I got like 20 left so I gotta hurry a bit but I wanted to show you my impressions what I thought about it and um, yeah what the differences in my perspective are to my car and uh, if there's something major and of course there is as you all know because we already had a look did we i'm not sure if we already had a look um but yeah um so let's just go through this uh, real quick and i'll show you everything that uh, i've seen in this 10 minutes already so first of course we have no stalks here and i drove around for as i said like five or ten minutes and i even thought about yeah i'm i would be in the situation that i would try to indicate to the left and then try to push the stalk and it isn't there and then there came a corner and literally that happened while i was thinking about it but i think that's some kind of muscle memory um that'll do over time and um i think as as soon as you drive this car for more than two days uh there shouldn't be any problem anymore i would guess but um i see the critique in roundabouts and stuff and i think the buttons just aren't always where you know they are because they move uh, while the stalks are always at the same position. Same with the gear shifters. As soon as you push the brake and I gotta put the key card down here for it. Uh, it shows me this gear selector screen thing or it just shifts to forward, which is it just did at the service center, but not here. So I don't know what's going on um maybe it doesn't know where i want to go i'm not sure um yeah but it's a bit of a um confusion i would say and this only shows up when you're standing on the brake at least when parked right now i think i could move uh or change the direction while i was rolling slowly but i'm not 100 percent sure but it was not that unnatural uh, as I would have guessed. Um, of course, all of the interior is beautiful. I love it. This new ambient lighting is beautiful. Uh, this like soft material here is way better than before, I would say. It's a very personal opinion thing, I would say. But I really like it. Also, the new steering wheel, except for the stalks that are missing, I really like how it handles and how it you grab it and stuff that's perfect it's like made for me i would say that's great the car drives awesome let's just go around here real quick and ah, now i'm buckled up and now i just have to push the brake again to shift to forward that's interesting okay so let's see nothing's coming over there let's get out here I think the um, the steering angle is a bit steeper than before, so you can get tighter corners with it, but I'm not 100% 100 sure, that's just, I imagine it is, but I'm not, not quite sure. Um, yeah, the indicators, as I said, weird, uh, everything else is okay. You have to push this knob for autopilot which is okay, I guess. The cameras are not that much better than mine, even though they should be hardware four, I think. Um, the suspension is awesome. It's so much softer than mine. You can see all those bumps here and it's so smooth. That's so awesome. I would guess it's not that great at high speeds but at normal cruising speeds which you do 90% of the time it's perfect um, 
really love it. Really, really nice to see. Let's wait for this guy. Um, and the shifting area here uh, appears as soon as you're driving below 15 or so. As soon as I'm rolling, yeah, when I'm when I'm breaking down to, and it knows that I'm gonna be standing in just a sec, then it uh, appears. That's quite good. I also just wanted to push the stock to indicate, so that's that. Um, as for EU regulation, the car needs to make audible uh, warnings for speed limits. That's bad, I don't like that, but that's EU regulation, so can change that. Um, the seating is awesome. The seats are really good. And I would say the seats are even better than in my car, but um, might also just be another seating position, so not 100% sure. Ah, that's the speed limit warning, by the way. Uh, interesting. Um, and you can't you can disable it every time you get in the car, but not for always. That's stupid. But whatever. Um, at least it's a sound that you can live with. Um, regen and driving uh, things are just the same as we're used to, and I think there's nothing different there. Um, so that's okay, or not, o not only okay, that's really good, I love it. Uh, I love to drive my car because of that. Um, software is fast, of course, but um, nothing unusual, I would say. Of course, the car also has no ultrasonic sensors, so everything that's uh, really close to it, uh, at least in the front uh, mainly, is not that well detected so um it beeps at you and it does things and if i'm gonna go onto that thing it it's not sure how far that's away from me so that's kind of weird and now the indicators are down here that's that's just not well thought out just isn't but uh yeah i guess you can live with it but um, that's with all vision only cars. I'm pretty happy that mine is none of them. Mine has its USS. Um, also drove a Model Y some days ago and it also had no USS, so same for that. Nothing new with the Highland, just uh, that's what, of course, uh, you need to have in mind if you want to choose this car. Uh, and that's one of the things that I just don't like too much uh, but I think the things that I do like would uh, be bigger than the things that I don't like so really could be worse um, if I had no choice I of course would take it and if I had a choice I'm actually not sure if I would choose this one over mine if they're the same price probably um, but hard to say I'm not sure Still, I do like it. I do like the steering wheel. I, I, I love the steering wheel. That's really good, except for the missing stocks. But that has such a good haptic. That feels so good. So much more high quality than before. And it was high quality before. It's just so much better now, I would say. It's, it's crazy. It's really good. I, I really like this car. There's no hard plastic anywhere. You really need to search hard to find some that's soft in here that's foamed up out here that's foamed up over there that's soft as well that's pretty soft as well the headliner is the same as before so nothing new there just so good it's so well made damn the trunk is a bit bigger i think and um the the trunk door that's not what it's called uh, I'm driving slower um, that's larger because the lights also open with it so that's quite cool um, other than that I wouldn't see too much difference of course it's a good car and it's a great value I would say 
um, and it looks so good. So let's stop right here and I can shift gears while going slowly and get in the parking space without any problem at all. Cameras are good as always, so it's a bit unusual if you're used to how it was, but not that bad. And you have to push over here to park it and the battery is quite empty. Uh, but yeah, all in all, I would say that's pretty good. This button is larger than before. You have this cover for the cup holders and another one for the big area down here, which you can put stuff over there as well. That's pretty, pretty large. This is no magnetic. Oh my gosh, let me, yeah. So no button here anymore. It's magnetic. That's quite cool. Like that. Also, I like how that disappears down there. That's, that's really well thought out. Um, couldn't test, or I could test the audio already and it was really good, um, but it also had the subwoofer that mine doesn't have. So that's that. Um, yeah, let's have another look at the outside. I'm gonna grab the key card just for safety. Um, the ultra red looks so good. The new front is so beautiful. So much better than before, I would say. Really like it. And it appears to be smaller from that angle, but it isn't, of course. It's just the same size as before, but it appears to be smaller. Um, and you can see hardware 4 as there's a red dot in the camera. So yeah, I would say that's my quick impressions of the Model 3 Highland Refresh uh, standard range car with empty battery. But um, yeah, I hope you got some quick impressions what I'm thinking about it. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.